Good day to everyone. So for today, we will tackle about the Moodle 3 lesson 4, which is the technology collaborative tools in the digital world. So what are we waiting for? Let's move on to the next slide. The lesson outcomes for this topic is to identify the different collaborative tools in the digital world and explore and create an online account that can be used for collaborative work. Here are some of the sample pictures illustrations of individuals who did a collaborative work using the collaborative tool. So we can see here a video conferencing, students that do a collaboration of their work and for their activities and such. But in the next slide, we can see a various of collaborative tools and collaborative apps to be used for online purposes. Okay, so moving on, so what is collaborative technology? So collaborative technology refers tools and systems that make it easier to, for people to work together in groups both in and out of the office. So collaborative technology is very common to the students, especially today that we are facing this pandemic and won't be able to mingle with one another. So even though only limited people can go out, this is not a hindrance for students to still have classes since there are many collaborative technology to be used and that will be discussed on the next slide. Video conferencing applications. So in video conferencing apps, we have here the Skype, Zoom, and Google Meet. So with built-in features like chat, screen sharing, and recording, video conferencing software allows for online communication for audio, video, and seminar meetings. Okay, so these programs are used to facilitate long distance or international communication, collaborate more effectively, and save money on trips. So, employees at various levels of a firm can utilize video conferencing solutions to arrange or attend virtual meetings with co workers, business partners, or customers, regardless of their physical location. So, this is not just for business thing, but also this is helpful, especially in distance learning that we are adapting right now. Next is the wiki. So, wiki is a hypertext publication collaboratively edited and managed by audience. It also contains multiple pages for the subjects or scope. So, it is either open to public or limited to use. So a wiki engine, which is a type of content management system, differs from other web-based systems like blog software. So in this content, it is created without a clear owner or leader. So there are also various of engines where we can gather lots of information and such with strong and reliable source and references. So next is Google Group or Google Form. So, it creates discussion groups for people with similar interests. So it also enables anyone to create and participate in further discussion. So Google Groups or Google Forum is very known and essential especially today that distance learning is implemented. So attachment of files, group emails, and etc. are just some of the features that Google Groups has. So lastly is the blogging. So a blogging is an online journal or instructional website that displays content in reverse chronological order. So authors may express their thoughts on a specific topic. So it can also connect you to the relevant audience and boost your traffic and send quality leads to your website. So um, blog and blogging are now loosely used for content creation and sharing on social media, especially when the content is long form and one creates and shares content on a regular basis. So one could be maintaining blog on Facebook or blogging on Instagram. Okay, so that would be all for the Module 3 lesson for which is the Technology Collaborative Tools in the Digital World. So I hope that you guys learned a lot for today's lesson. and. Uh, more topics to come.